few days, but we got to get everything packed first. And I have a full real estate schedule. So I only have a short amount of time to get it loaded. Let's go. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. Our camper is so far from the house we have to run back and forth. So what I do is I make two separate lists in my phone in my notes part. The first list is everything that needs to be moved to the camper from the house. That's a whole list. Then I have a grocery list, my shopping list that I need to get at the grocery store. And then I mark all that off. And then as I move it into the camper, I mark it off. So that way I know it's in the camper because what I do when we get ready to go on a trip, I come in the camper and I do a big sweep. Like we needed toilet paper this time. So I knew I needed to order that and have it in the camper and then just different stuff. And then Bill wants me to make waffles instead of pancakes this time. So I had to bring the waffle maker. So I had that on my list to come bring to the camper. Now I got to put everything up. And then the next thing I got to get all our clothes out here. Oh, I'm sweating. It's hot and humid in Alabama. Water, put yourself up. I do with our liquor when we're traveling just so they're not banging up against each other. Can hugger. There. Slide that on and it keeps them from banging as much. I've never had a problem before but then I just started doing this not too long ago. Thought oh, oh, extra little layer just in case. Well I've got about everything that I have on my list that's already bought in here. I still got to go to the grocery store and buy like fruits and stuff like that. Things that I couldn't buy in advance because a lot of stuff I went ahead and bought. But it was stuff that would save. The stuff that I need fresh. <laughs> I'm going to try to go today or tomorrow. But I have a packed real estate day today and tomorrow. And we leave Saturday morning. So it's going to be down to the wire. Um, I kind of wanted to show you a few things. Um like where I pack stuff when we're traveling, to give you an idea. A lot of my stuff is already packed up that I, because I just had it packed up, but I have like pictures that I sit out and like little trinkets and all that goes inside my footstool that I made. I found the crate, I added the feet and I added the top, I made it myself. So my pillows, blankets, and all my picture frames and everything that's loose that's just sitting around that's decor, I put inside this and it stores right here. Perfect. I've got a lot of my baskets and stuff full. See like for me the bread fits here perfect. I mean like a whole loaf of bread that and that's a dollar tree basket but it fits perfect right there. And then we even got this I believe a while back at the Dollar Tree it holds the dog treats for them. And then we keep all the dog stuff down in the very bottom. We opt to take our own water. That's just for our coffee and for the dogs. It being a different water, it doesn't tear up their stomachs. 
but we'll carry these gallons of water and you can put five of them in there and it fits perfect. And then this is my chip basket, which I got this basket at the Dollar General because it's a little more sturdy and that's my chip basket. So all my chips and stuff just lay in. This will finish filling up somewhat. Um, this is like I have my snacks, my breakfast here in my liquor section. I've got a tension rod here that holds this in and then back here I have another tension rod in the back that keeps it all from shifting and bumping around and it works great and then I keep my coffee pot um, and then I've got my mixer up there for our drink for the beach and anything extra that I have I keep up here in the closet. I've got like all our extra water, our coffee, and it just fits in the bottom right here. Oh, I want to show you something cool and I still got some more stuff to do with it. I'm gonna, or I'm gonna try to do with it before we leave. There's this weird space in the grand design. It's got a little hump here. Like nothing fits there and you can't do anything. And while I'm trying to get dressed, Bill is usually taking a shower and we both can't be in there and I can't get my hair and makeup done. So I found this little mirror that fits down here perfect. And then I got this at Walmart. It was like a little stacking thing. It was white and I didn't want white. So I sprayed it bronze. And then these are little Dollar General baskets. They're like $2. And I put all my makeup in there and I'm gonna put my jewelry and stuff sitting in there. And then I want like a little shelf on top. And I think I have an idea for it. It may be a later project because if it doesn't work exactly how I think. I didn't secure this because when the bed comes in, it's going to push up against this. It goes all the way here. So this should not fall over or anything. So it should ride good. If not, I've got some D rings that I'm going to screw in and attach it. But I did attach them together because they were loose and I took a um, zip tie and put them together. My clock used to sit down here on the, uh, the desk. And since I'm going to do my makeup here, I wanted that out of the way. Found this little shelf. I put that on there and that stuck on there with museum putty. And then that way there it's out of the way and it's not somewhere. I ended up really liking that idea. To go get dressed, I've got meetings all day. It may be tomorrow before y'all see me again. A lot more to finish loading, but I got a lot done. You know when you have that project that you want to do, but yet it's in the camper. And it's 93 degrees in the camper because we don't have this hooked up but to just a regular 210 plug. 110 plug. I guess 110. Anyway, we can't run the air conditioners hot, but you got that project you want to finish before you leave, you do it in the heat. Now I'm going to show you this real quick. This is that double basket that I showed y'all this morning that I had zip tied these together so that way it doesn't come apart. Stackables. And then I had sprayed them and I wanted a top for them. This is a cutting board that I had. Put some D rings on the back. Then I zip tied it to this so that way I can lift it up and get my stuff out. Is that not kind of cool? And then I'm going to stain this because I don't want it this light color so I'm loving this this is gonna be like a game changer see there it is I'm gonna have my makeup I've got my makeup mirror and then this is the thing and then that just opens up but it's all together and I'm hoping that while it rides that the bed's going up against here so it's gonna stay in place um if I have to I mean I, I can secure it there's a lot of different ways I'm in love with this I'm gonna stain the top of this and then get out of this hot camper Woo, it's hot I'm sweating. I don't know if you can tell or not. I am pouring sweat. And you probably can see that I have pajama pants on. I just wanted to run out here and try to get this finished up. I thought this would fit, but I wasn't sure. And now that gives me something like I can like, well, I can put my mirror up here and get dressed and then I can like pull my makeup out and put it up there. Or I can just lift that up. I'm excited. Oh, let's hurry up and get finished. It's hot. I'm in a sauna. Oh, be back with y'all tomorrow as I finish packing up everything. I've had a busy day today in real estate. I had four closings today. I have uh, procrastinated putting off loading up the camper today. Or not today, just this whole week. It's just been so busy. So I really guess I didn't procrastinate. I just didn't have enough time. And now I'm having to load it 100 degree trailer. So it's hot. Anyway, we're trying to finish getting up. I'm gonna get clothes loaded and then kind of go through with a few things of where I put stuff and how stuff looks when we're getting ready to pack up to travel. All right, let's get back to 
loading things up. About got it all loaded up. This is kind of how it all rides. I use all my baskets that I got at the Dollar Tree. Just kind of contain everything in that. My chips, they're just kind of piled up in this basket. Then I have all my bread down here. And then I have, normally we carry more food stuff, but I'm not carrying as much food stuff. I've got some food stuff there. That is all done. What I love about camping is I can take as many clothes as I want traveling i put everything on these coat hangers that have the felt on them because when they're traveling they don't fall off they stay in place don't have any problems with that i use dollar tree shelves i use them so that way i can double stack my short casual shorts and dressier shorts and keep them separated i've got a little thing that hangs on the back of the door it keeps all our hats and i have a few hats here and a great thing that I installed that I ordered off of Amazon, a magnetic door stop. I don't know if your door did or not, but when we would close this door, when we would leave to head out of town, when we got to where we were going, the door was open and it was like beating itself up back and forth and it was just crazy. So now you push it back, it stays. Does not move the whole trip. A magnetic door stop, amazing. I think it's about it. It's uh, 92 degrees in here. If you like a sauna, I could more than welcome let you come and load this camper while it's this hot. Woo! I'm gonna head in um, and then we're gonna come back out here after it gets a little darker and close everything up so he can hitch stuff up in the morning. I'm so excited, ready to go. See y'all in the morning.